All right, episode two of Sekiro. Here we are. Let's actually get going with this area and figure out how to use our grappling hook. Shit, I should have looked at the menu there. I really should have. Uh, let's cancel the start of this episode and redo everything here. Uh, oh wait, does that not? But it refills my gourd, doesn't it? No, it don't. Okay. Well, this is going to be interesting. I thought... Uh, prosthetic tool. Grappling hook L2. Sounds good. Nice. I am liking this thing. This is such a neat idea, though. You gotta admit. Because platforming and Souls games. But of course, if you know FromSoft's history... They've had similar concepts before uh, in their games. There was a stealth game they had, which I'm not going to know the name of or remember. And that one had kind of a grappling hook. It was a lot slower of a game. Very old game, like 90s stuff. So, you know. It's nice that they're kind of bringing this back. Sculptor's Idol. Found you can now instantly travel. Okay, that's good. That is very good. That was one of the things I was wondering if there was going to be uh, teleportation here. You can here we go. This is what I wanted. You can perform stealth blows on op opponents unaware of your presence. Lock onto an enemy, jump, R1. Yeah. I Maybe it was just not unlocked because I'm pretty sure I was doing that before. Nice. <laughs> that is such a... That is a sick animation. Okay. Loot this little bitch. Alright. We are on track. We are on track. Looks like this is the same castle area. Isn't it? That we were at before. How the hell did he notice me? Okay, never mind. Did I just bound off of the top of his head? Okay, there's a lot of potential here with the combat system. And I'm getting my ass kicked. Don't worry. There we go. That was only a temporary ass kicking. Piece of pottery that breaks with a satisfying crack when thrown. Uh huh. Sounds good. I think like I should equip some of these things onto my inventory. That is exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, let's go ahead and. Do some light inventory management. Light. I don't need this. But like, what's the difference between... Oh, that distracts and that attracts. Nice. So, Alright, you just gotta read. Which I have a habit of not doing. Oh, you can do multiples. I kinda knew that, but that's still sick. Man, these stealth kills are gonna be my shit. Like, I'm gonna be all about them stealth hit stealth hits. Great that we got a magnet on us too. Very convenient. So yeah, again, because I'm such a stealth fan, I will I will try being sneaky. Not like purposefully avoiding combat, but you know being tactical about it this is what I was just like really wanting before this game came out I of course were not even an hour in so I don't know what the rest of this game is like however what I really wanted 
when they first announced that there was not going to be like leveling and all that. I was like, I'm completely cool with that. The only thing I want is there to be options when you're playing the game. Because I think that's kind of the thing that really determines the longevity of a game. Dark Souls, of course, has a shit ton of options. Two especially. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to grapple up there. Oh, well, that works as well. Just gonna yeah, there's two of them. So I'm gonna need to like Oh he has a gun. Not anymore. I was just wondering if guns are a thing in this game. Look at you. <laughs> He's gonna find all these dead bodies. Not be able to do shit about it, because they don't have radios. If this was Metal Gear, he would radio it in, but this ain't Metal Gear. This is... Okay, that's kind of funny, you gotta admit. The... Generating a magnetic field to <laughs> draw out your opponent's loot, that's a little bit funny. Sugar candy made in Sempo Temple in reduces vitality damage taken from physical attacks. Nice. Also, hopefully, these like buff style items are a little bit more handy. Oh, is that a dog? Shit. You, you guys know that dogs and souls games don't mix together. As in, usually every single dog-like enemy in every single Souls game. What the? Is that a fucking chicken? It's a... It's a goddamn... No, it's it's not a chicken, but... It's a, it is a chicken. Fuck off, chicken. I cannot believe it. Alright. Gets an A for creativity so far in terms of enemy design. Can't believe I just fought a chicken in a Souls game. It's not... Not something I ever expected to happen. But hey. I'm down with it. Shuriken wheel. Can be fit into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. Oh, we can shoot shurikens, can't we? Yeah, okay. Once I find the next idol, I will... I will be all over that, because... You know, I didn't use the ninja tools in Neo, even though people say they're really useful. And... Here... Looks like we'll finally get a chance. No more chickens. No more chickens. Still, that probably still wasn't a chicken, but... I don't know. I'm, I'm so hung up on this chicken. It's just... Not what I was expecting. Did I almost get spotted? I saw the little icon appear, I think. Hey, I'm the stealth master. This is so satisfying. Movement. Movement is gonna be great. I can't believe that this game is made by Activision. They usually make some bootleg ass games, you know. Oh fuck. That was a miscalculation. I'm not gonna lie. Oh fuck. Yeah, that was a big miscalculation. Yeah, death. It's my favorite. It looks like it almost looks like the symbol that Akuma does when he does the Okay. That's how we live again. Uh die resurrect. Uh, what happens? 
I don't know. I'm gonna take the... I'm gonna take the safe option because I don't know what the hell happens. Uh, man, I fucked that up so badly. I was on a roll too with stealth. It's gonna put me back quite a bit. Yeah. Oh wait, experience towards the next skill point and current send is hand send in hand or halved upon death. Okay. Well Maybe I did not make the right choice there. Who knows? Who knows? I count that as my first proper death, I think. It's too far away. It's all good. It's all good. So we'll quickly redo this. No, no need to panic. This is not going to be the first and not going to be the last death of this playthrough. Because, you know, you know how these games go. Killed you the last time as well. Fuck. Told you. I wasn't even because I wasn't healing or anything. That's just... Got caught in a bad situation there. Look at how open these areas are. Holy shit. Plenty of ways to, you know, go through them. And try not to fall off like an idiot either. I get to see the chicken again. I know I'm not killing as many enemies, but... I think we're, we're gonna be okay. So how does it go with the... Okay, that thing just straight up sees you. And straight up almost. To stay down after being knocked to the ground surely means death. Okay. Same as a fighting game, really. Making roast out of this little bitch. Going into the bucket, I think. Oh, this is an unstable tree. So I saw some treasure down there. I think more importantly... I don't know. It's tempting. Treasure is always tempting, although I am now kind of lost as to where it was. Yeah, there's a dude there. He's like more... Like better equipped than his buddies, it seems like. He doesn't notice me, I don't think. Yeah. Which means... Oh yeah, he's one of these guys. Should I kill him? And I could get a... Plunging attack on him. Oh yeah. Some enemies use unguardable perilous attacks signified with a danger symbol. When the ease occur, watch carefully and try to respond properly as each type requires a specific holy shit. L1 is thrust lands deflect. X before sweep lands jump. Okay, it's basically like a triangle mechanic. That's cool. Okay, that's a jump. That's what I was... I I didn't know what it was. Ah, oh, fuck. I died. You know what? We'll try resurrecting. The Divine Heir's blood grants the ability to return from the dead using resurrective powers. One ch charge is always restored by resting at the Sculptor's Idol. Resurrection becomes unusable immediately after using it, but killing enemies will make it available. Again. This 
dude is kind of tough. Not anymore. What is he doing? I'm, I'm fucked, aren't I? Oh, he's... Whew, okay, okay. That wasn't, that wasn't a good idea. That wasn't a good idea, boys. Yeah. All right. Fine game, I got you. I got your message. Come on. Can't even jump. Forgotten how to play entirely. Or maybe not. I'm gonna try that again. I have heard through the grapevines, though. Through the grapevine. It's just grapevine, isn't it? That uh, resurrecting too often has some negative effect. Uh, yes, I did watch one review of this game. That's all. And that's where they talked about this. Is that it? Okay. These chickens are absolute bitches. See, I'm gonna try not doing that too often. Fuck, I'm already 70 minutes in. I made like no progress. It's because I'm like enjoying this game too much. And I'm like fucking around. I don't know. Like it's tempting to try and kill this guy. Well, he fucked me up so badly the first time around. Maybe, you know, hang back a little bit. And this is where I screwed up the stealth. Oh, because there's a dude there as well. That's what I messed up. These are so satisfying to pull off. Okay, there's a lot of them here. What the hell? Did they not see me? Oh, that was a sick dodge. Matrix style. So the question is, if you get noticed once, is it possible to hide from enemies again? I kind of wasn't expecting to expose myself this much. That's for sure. It looks like it. It looks like they can't see me. So they're running around like idiots. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good that you can hide from enemies again. Or maybe not. I thought you could do. Looks like you can't. That parry timing is very specific. Oh, this is... I keep forgetting to do this. The little sucky suck. It's gonna be a weird thing to get used to. There he is. The boy. He has like a gun, so... I need to like... Oh, what the hell? Oh, shit. 
shit. Could I have fucked that? <sighs> I'm assuming. Okay, that, that's a jump. Motherfucker. You're resurrecting and getting the hell out of dodge. Eat a pellet. Yeah, d like recognizing those symbols is really gonna be the key here. And killing this little bitch. Wait, are they killing each other? That ogre thing seems to be going crazy. Okay. I think... God damn it. He's observant. Little bastard. I guess it's because they're still on alert. Not for much longer though, it seems. That wasn't even a... <laughs> like, that wasn't even a boss. Not like the other dude. He only has like one crit meter and all that, so... Dang. Now. I don't know why I'm whispering. Now you're gonna get it. This thing is ugly as sin. Did you guys see that? That's crazy. Oh, and that dude is blind. As hell. Can I? There we go. All we have to do is reposition. And kill this little bitch, too. I like their armor, though. Gotta admit. Give me that cash. Alright, well... Compared to how badly that started out... It actually turned out okay in the end. Did I absorb this ogre's... Absorbed its juices? I think I did. Okay, let's not take the most obvious path there is. Or at least try not to. What the hell? Oh, there's a little sneaky. Okay. I did not read that. Mibu Balloon of Wealth. Oh, shit. Oh, he's right. I was like, what the hell? Shows you how blind I am. The dudes with the guns weren't this much of a threat in Neo, that's for sure. Oh, the crows. Wait, that's what I'm wondering. Are the crows gonna be in the game? Purse filled with a small amount of sand. It can be used to acquire the sand inside. The sand is not, not lost upon death, which means... The boy is not going to use it. I really thought there would be a grapple point somewhere there. Based on previous experience. But hey. Is that? It's not an enemy, is it? Hello? Nah. Or is that actually our mother? It would explain a lot. Uh, like what? Um. Okay, she's not giving up. Okay, 
when the character models look so much better in this game. Well, you know how they how people look in Dark Souls and Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne. Well, Bloodborne at least you can mask it with all the cool armor. I'll be doing just that. Young Lords Beltram, uh, protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another bell, an another's bell charm, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Alright, mother, don't worry, I'm just gonna parkour out of here. Oops. Oh, he's still alive. I was like, we're gonna talk to the corpse. Yeah, we'll answer this dude. You're not doing too hot, are you? Oh, he's... Damn. He's right here. Classic souls. Prepare to cry crumbing in about a week. She cool, she cool, don't worry. Can't believe we've seen a prepare to cry material character in the first hour of the game. Because he's blinded, isn't he? All right. Oh. Didn't mean to skip that. So used to skipping every dialogue in Souls games. Okay. Cool. Already helping out the world. How nice of us. Is the best way to do this. There is a dude there. Okay. Never mind me, just passing by. Just keep being turned the other way. Oh, we can climb all the way up here. The cool thing about this is that Souls never really had vertical verticality. Oh, hello. It's not a crow. I'm waiting for the crows. I'm sure they're going to show up in some aspect. Show me what you got. Pellet, antidote powder. The poison is still a thing. Still a tang. Light coin purse. We can buy coin for... Oh, because it's not lost, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Robert's firecrackers. Oh, that's kind of... Prepare to cry episode 2. Sought by little Robert and his father to raise funds for their travels, their voyage brought them to Japan, where they would seek the undying in an attempt to extend Robert's life. Dang. Let's buy one, because I used one. Oh, he is the crow. Is he though? I mean, I, that, that has to be intentional, right? Alright, whatever. 
Whether he is or not, I don't mind. We got fucking gravity boots as well. That's convenient. Yeah, let's try not to like stand out in the open because it's the type of shit that gets us killed. Speaking of shit that gets you killed, you. He has a cannon too, so. Black gunpowder. Alright. I'll be taking that and sucking all your money out of you as well. That's just how I roll. We'll see about how frequent the sculptor statues are. I mean, it's 100% there's one. <laughs> I was just about to say. There's a chicken in the way too. Fuck. No? Okay. There's a weird, like... Not weird, but there is a unique feel to the platforming. That... Okay. can't sneak up on the chicken that you it's like you don't have complete freedom as to where he jumps probably to avoid too many like times of you flinging yourself off the cliffs sculptor's idol found so we're gonna go back to oh that's nice that's cool that they have like highlighted places. Because it's always sometimes, especially late game in the other games, you just like get lost in the menus and trying to find the correct place to warp to. All right. You boys have some explanations to do. First of all, no, first of all, we'll talk to you. Apparently there are some crazy ones out there. Nice that he shares our enthusiasm for killing. He, lo he looks like, you know what he looks like from God of War 3, uh, Hephaestus, yeah, except Hephaestus is a little bit larger. Uh, regular shinobi tools found in the world can be specially adapted to the shinobi prosthetic. Sounds like a plan, don't really have too many options here. Cool. Cause spirit emblems to use. Pull a shuriken, load it into the wheel, and launch it at a target in a single flowing motion. Damages enemy vitality and posture. Okay. Oh, that's how you get your R2s. I was just about to say, like, what is going to be uh, the R2 button? I was just about to do something funny with it. Okay. Open equipment menu. Loaded shuriken. Good thing you mentioned that. Okay. 
を備えてみるといいそこにある優しい顔の仏とけ Oh, he just makes Buddhas How very patient of him He's like Hawkeye Goth, except very specialized All right, let me see what we can do here. We get a cutscene out of it, that's for sure. Those are some very thin looking Buddhas, you gotta admit. Boy been losing weight. Okay, I, I have no idea what's going on by the way, if you're wondering. I'm lost at this point, but hey, I'm just rolling with the flow. This is a Souls game. You just gotta go with it. Three years ago. Are we gonna get to... Are we gonna get to play as like the characters? But no, because we're still us. But is this like... Memories? Sculptor's idol found. Oh, okay. I have zero. You know what? Let's buy. We're gonna buy three, because why not? Hirata Estate. Spirit emblems are required to activate prosthetic tools. Yeah, yeah. And they're automatically added. Hirata Estate. This is crazy. So we're like in a different location, but this is... We're in like a memory. I'm down with that. That's for sure. I'm down for new areas. Even though I haven't even done half of probably the other area. But hey, as I said, pretty much going with the flow here. That's for sure an enemy. By the way, this. Oh no, no, it's not. Hello. Oh, almost a crow. Wait, isn't that the dude that took the kid from the start? What year is it? Yeah, we're in the past. To play some... Wait, so to play... <laughs> God, I can't even do the AVGN slogan. To play some shitty games that suck ass. Yeah. It's crazy how, like, I mentioned this before. Uh, how, like, popular AVGN still is. Oh, he's dead. Oops. It really speaks to the quality of his content that he has never lost popularity. I see a giant ass fish swimming around there. But you know, my worry is that I was just about to say what is that? Plain oil. Yeah, okay. Kinda gathered. So what would happen? Experiment time. If I...
what I thought would happen didn't happen. But hey. That played out in my head like I'm gonna douse him in oil and he's gonna immediately set himself on fire. Dousing powder for treating burns. There's a lot of stuff in this game. So I'm assuming I could have swam across. Wait. And what what would happen if I did that? That fish is looking like it's ready to eat me. So, you know. For the purposes of avoiding that, let's not, let's not mess around with that. See, but I want to lock on to here. Damn. Would it be so good to sneak up behind him and just stab that little shithead. Speaking of... People that need to be stabbed. Oh, our first dog. Holy shit, I just insta-killed a dog. <laughs> Hold on, what if... What if they pull a giant bamboozle and they make dogs incredibly easy to kill? Uh, you have a child. One pause is vibrant green, Mibu balloon, and praise. Those, it's water splashes upon the hive. Okay. Okay, I think I already have one of these things, though. Yeah, that fish is 100% not my friend. However, there's 100% treasure up there. So we're gonna do this little dolphin motion. Hello? What the hell? Look at his little grabby hand. Is that a treasure carp? Okay. So what would happen? I'm un unimpressed. I'll say that much. No, oh, I did the wrong thing. Neo, Neo is fucking me up because I guess I'm just associating all that ninja shit. Because, you know, you pick up games with. You pick up items with Circle. And I'm in that mood completely. How am I gonna kill this thing? Can you fight in water? I'm guessing you cannot. Hey, worth a try, right? This area is crazy. Uh, I'm liking it, though. Although, I probably should finish the other area. Uh, at this point, I'll go on until I can find a... a whatchamacallit. He has a lot of dogs with him. I'm not a fan of that. Even though, again, what if they pull a giant twist and dogs are just incredibly easy to beat in this game. Well, we have a statue. So now we have options on which area to cover next. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed episode numero dos of... I almost said Neo again. Of Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Time to wrap it up. This game is still like really, really enjoyable. I am so hyped to play it. So yeah, we'll see what happens here next. Thanks for watching as I try to balance on this roof. Goodbye.